Hi everyone, we're going to use the principle of mathematical induction to show that the given statement is true for all natural numbers n. This is number 9, so hopefully you watched some of the prior videos where um, I explained things a little more. So, first of all, we have to check for condition 1. That means we're going to check for n equals 1. And that means I'm going to plug in 1 in the sum here, and that should equal my first term, which is 3. So I plug in 1, I get 3 over 2 times uh, 1 plus 1 is 2. And these cancel and we get 3. So it does check. It should always check. And now for condition 2, if it's true for some k, so I'm going to write this for some k. means every time there's n, I'm going to substitute it with the k. If it's true for uh, if k, uh, then, so that's my k, then um, it should be true for the next term, which is k plus 1. All right? So basically, I'm going to copy this first sequence down uh, here. Should have been a plus here. Now, my next term is going to be, um, my slope is ten, uh, 3, my common difference is 3, so I'm just going to add 3 to this, so my next term should be 3k plus 3. If you don't like doing it that way, you can just take the previous term, 3k, and put in k plus 1. And that will give you 3k plus 3. All right, and then, so then you're going to write it over here. This is going to be 3 times k plus 1 over 2 times k plus 1. Now, this equals this sum right here. So I'm just going to write that sum, 3k over 2 times k plus 1. And then we have to add the 3. And I'm just going to write this as k plus 1 here. Okay, and it should equal this. Now what I notice here is these two are the same. So I'm going to factor by grouping. And this would be 3k over 2 plus 3 um, plus times sorry, k plus 1. So basically, I can factor out of 3 here. If we want it to look the same, factor out of 3. So this would be 3k plus 1 over 2. This should have been, oh, sorry, I messed up here. New set was off. So this is, uh, when you distribute, you get um, 3k plus 2. Oh, never mind. I did it right. So plus 3. And then uh, you have k plus 1. So these um, match up. And we have proven condition 1 and condition 2. So uh, which is what had to be proven. That's what that means. Um, to show that the given statement is true for all natural numbers n. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.